This is an obsidian stone, and this is an arrow that needs an arrowhead. I knock a chunk off of the larger piece of obsidian, which will become my arrowhead. I remove large chunks and shape it into a triangular shape. With each strike, the piece becomes thinner and more two-dimensional. This obsidian had some cool stripes in it. I then use an antler tool to press flakes off of the edge and refine the arrowhead into a triangular shape. Now that I've got the right shape, it's time to put the notches in. These notches will help secure the arrowhead to the arrow shaft. With the same method and tools, I further refine the arrowhead and make the tip nice and sharp. To attach the arrowhead to the arrow shaft, I use a hot melt glue made from charcoal dust and pine sap. With the arrowhead glued in, it's time to wrap it with animal sinew. The dry sinew fibers are first soaked in water so that they can be more pliable. As the sinew dries and the moisture content leaves, the sinew becomes very tight, making a very strong bond between the arrowhead and arrow shaft. Once the sinew is wrapped, it's time to let it dry. Now we wait. This method is used for attaching arrowheads, knife blades, and spearheads to shafts.